Hi, uh, this is uh, Kerry doing an Anvil Foundry 220 or 240 volt hack. Um, I have a three prong dryer outlet that's available. So I picked this uh, Leviton model 287-T and it's just an empty, empty socket then you put your own cord into it. I had a uh, 10 gauge wire which probably way way overkill. But uh, that's what I had, and so those two um, top prongs are going to be red and uh, black, usually red and black. Both of those are hot, and then the bottom one is going to be a white wire or a common wire. My house is older, and a lot of the newer houses have four prongs. Uh, I know how to do that, but I don't have that uh, available. So what I did is just put this cord in, the black and the red on the two prongs in the front, and then that one on the bottom goes to the common. Uh, then this goes into a L520R, which you can get at Lowe's, Home Depot, or Ace, or whatever. It's a locking uh, fixture. R means receptacle, so this is going to be the female end. Uh, you notice I've got a little bit of the cable ha hanging out, but I went back, pushed it back in. You want all the cable inside of there. And then you got the L50P, which is the mate to the other side. And this is going to be a pigtail. And I'm going to pigtail this into a regular 120 volt. I'll show you that gun. That bottom one is, uh, excuse me, that bottom uh, prong is going to be your common and then your top two is red and black. Uh, but when you get into this, you'll see that a 120 system won't have red and black. They'll have red and white, or black and white, usually black and white and green. So what you want to do is you just want to kind of ignore that. Uh, the black and the white will now become your hot lines, and your green wire will become your common in this case so uh, that's why this is a little bit confusing because the colors change when you go from 220 or 240 to 120 so just remember your two top prongs are going to be uh, your black and your white wire and the bottom one's going to be green now you have um your 120 outlet. Uh, you want to uh, make sure that uh, you line up your t colors correctly. It's it, uh, so this usually on a regular 120 you'll have the left side is a white and the right side is black as we're looking at it this way. So you can align your wires that way uh, make sure that you have you know, L, your L50P and those and this thing lined up correctly, and, and you can do that just by simply draw a diagram. So this will now go into the anvil, and it will detect uh, 220 volts. And this is the pigtail when it's completed. You notice that the pigtail is not 10 gauge. I think this is a 12 gauge uh, wire coming out. So this uh, a little safety thing I did, and it would be almost impossible to hook this uh, up incorrectly. In a later video, I'm going to actually open this back up and show you how I it wired the inside. Hopefully this can help you guys con transfer to a 240-volt system. Hey, thanks for watching.